Today we are going to change the coolant on a Yanmar 3YM30 diesel engine. Lately I've been trying to take on more of the maintenance on board, specifically engine maintenance, and I'm finding it extremely rewarding and challenging. One of my tasks is changing the coolant, and I picked Ryan's brain and got some good information, but I also looked online and I really couldn't find that much. And the manual says, pull out the two plugs, drain the coolant, and refill with coolant, and that's all it says. I decided to make this video because it might help some of you with changing the coolant. First thing you need is a 12 millimeter wrench and a three millimeter hex key. Distilled water, lots of rags, gloves, some tubing, a handheld radio for uh, any of you whose husband is up doing something else and if I need help, have a question or need something, <laughs> he'll be right there. <laughs> One of the things that was really confusing for me when I was searching online was that everybody kept referring to petcocks, petcock, petcocks. We don't have any of that on this engine. They are plugs, um, except I did learn by trial and error. Back and forth between there and Oh there shit, go. stuff is coming out. <laughs> oh! Here comes the screaming that I told you was coming. There is a little hole! There What are you doing, Nicole? Putting it back on because guess what? What? There is a thing to put a hose on. If you just crack it open, it'll come. Oh, okay, I see. There's a, so it's that's connected. How it's... Got it. It's just to create. I couldn't rocking. see it. It's way. Oh yeah! No, this is good news. I made a little mess, but that's okay. Learning is happening. <laughs> Yes. So right here is the plug we're going to be taking out and right under here, right next to the engine, is an area that you can connect the hose to so that you can drain some of the coolant. This one, this is where the hex key goes. There's no little tubing to attach to which is kind of annoying. There's not a lot of room, you can't put a jug so you have to put a bin. Hoping that there's not a lot of boat traffic um, so that our coolant goes sloshing. <laughs> okay, now I want to be careful with this plug that I don't lose it. Pink stuff is starting to come out. Color looks nice. All right, next thing, this tiny little guy. All right, a little gymnastics. I always go the wrong way first. <laughs> when you're upside down, does anybody else, does that happen to anybody else? <laughs> Probably not. We have an O-ring on here, looks okay. Wow, look at that color, beautiful. I'm happy. I have not opened the cap where the coolant actually goes into yet because I know a lot more of it will gush out. Oh, it's hot. But um, there is some boat traffic and I just, I don't want these bins to get super overfilled. And we're still kind of going real slow on this side. Well, I'm okay with that. The draining slowed down and stopped. I still have not opened this up yet because my bin is getting pretty full and I want to transfer that. So I'm going to deal with these, empty these out, so that um, we can continue working. So I'll be right back. I've emptied everything so we are, we are good to go and get the last little bit out. Nice. Anybody else coming out? Shake, shake, shake. Squeeze a little. Get everybody out. 4.9 liters goes into the engine itself and in our little plastic tank up here, 0.8 goes out. So we were able to get four and a half liters out. Not quite everything. I don't know where it is, where it goes. Maybe it's in here somewhere and I just can't get it out, but close the little caps back up. Now we're gonna pour just some clean distilled water. I know that you can, once you do this, run the engine, 
and let this circulate through, but then you have to wait a long time and let it cool. And considering how clean the coolant was, I'm okay with, and Ryan is too, of not running the engine. You're trying to mix it in the engine? No, I'm flushing. <coughs> oh yeah. Two and a half liters of distilled water went in, and now we're going to flush. That's one end. And now I will do the other end. Both plugs are back in and they've been tightened. Now all we have next is uh, filling the clean coolant. This is almost kind of like the hardest part because I don't want to make a mess. And now I'm making sure that I pour it nice and slow to avoid as many air bubbles as possible. We got almost one gallon in. That includes this guy over here. And I know the coolant that we're using is the yellow stuff. That was all that we could find out here. Both of these coolants have the same properties, so it's okay that we used this heavy duty yellow one um, instead of the red orange one. Didn't have enough of this one, so that's why this is starboard engine only and this one is port only. So next we're gonna run the engine, get the temperature up so that the thermostat opens, and then we'll stop the engine, let it cool, I'll open up where I poured the coolant in, fill it, repeat, recheck. If it needs more filling, fill it, repeat, until we are full of coolant. We ran the engine, the engine is now cool enough to the touch, it's just warm, that it is safe to open up the cap. Time to refill. And then we'll run it again and let it cool and check it again. <laughs> 